Hey everybody, welcome back for another video. In this video, we're going to talk about things we can do to sync up your body turn and your arms and how we can improve our backswing rotation. Um, a lot of the times when I want to see people for the first time for a lesson, they're a new client, a lot of times a common thing I see is having too much arm swing and not enough turn. On video, it may seem like they're turning, but that's because the excessive arm swing is what's pulling their shoulders back. That's why they look like they're turning from this face on view. But not. But in, what we want instead is to have them actually feel an active torso turn and the arms come with. We don't want, so this is the, this is the common mistake is big arm swing that pulls their shoulders with, not really turning. What we want instead is a shorter arm swing but you can see I'm actually turning my torso properly. I can feel loaded into my trail glute, my trail leg, my trail heel, all that good stuff that eventually lead to an explosive downswing. If I get long with my arm swing, I feel no load, and all I do from there is just swing my arms down and my body comes along for the ride. Not a very effective movement, not a very powerful movement. We want the body to drive the arms, not the arms dragging the body along for the ride. So what we have to do as a drill is really help you sync up your arm structure, your arm unit. Think of your arms, hands, and club as one unit with your torso turn. So usually the smaller the arm swing, so let's classify this as the arm swing, um, the longer it is, the less turn you're probably going to make, the shorter it is, the more turn you're probably going to make just because you need to do something else to cover all that ground now. So if I have no arm swing, the only way for me to move this club back in the back swing is for me to turn. So I'm going to turn. I have turned quite a bit here. You can see I have a very small arm swing compared to if I have max arm swing, no turn. Big difference, okay? I feel way more load again in my trail side, my trail glute. So for all you people who struggle with turning and you feel like you're over swinging, this video is very important where you have to make sure you minimize your arm swing, you lock in your arm hand club unit, lock it in at setup, keep it in front of your torso. All you're gonna do is turn and maintain that relationship. And as soon as you feel you, you can't turn anymore, that's the extent, your back swing will feel way shorter than usual fight the urge to make it long again, okay? You have to feel that the swing is much shorter. It's not gonna be that much shorter, but you're gonna have actually gained a lot more turn. So it's gonna be keep this, lock this structure in, keep it in front of your torso, just turn, that's the extent, then you make your downswing, okay? Instead of what people typically do is not turn, have massive arm swings, and then arm leads the downswing, and as you can see, not a very effective method to hit the ball. So hope that makes sense for all you people who struggle with long backswings, they don't turn properly, try this, lock this in, keep it in front of your torso, and have a short arm swing to help you increase the turn. So as a general rule of thumb, we like short arm swings with good torso turns, rather than long arm swings with minimal torso turns. So hope that helps. Any questions, leave in the comments below. We'll catch you guys next time. Thanks, guys.